Um, hello, so today we are looking at this slate code problem called um, power of x, x power xn. And so basically what the problem says is that we want to implement um, we want to implement this function power of xn which calculate x raised to the power of n. And so for example you get this number as x and n equal to 10 and the 2.000 to the power of 10 is just 1024 and these are the uh, numbers up to the zero that should return for example 2 is this one um, you get the idea um, and n can be negative so basically the constraint here are that um, x is between minus 100 and 100 and n is 30 bit uh, 32 bit signed integer in this range and so how can we solve this problem so you could just do it um, like the naive brute force way by just multiplying x n times, right? Just recursing and every time multiplying x by 1. So essentially what you would do is something like you would just return um, this. So just call this function again, right? Um, with x and then since you multiply it by x, now it's um, n minus one, and that's pretty much it. Or you could even do better, which is just using function, uh, Python's uh, f power function, but the first one is inefficient, and the second one is probably now what um, they are asking here. And so how can we solve this problem? So this is where we can apply something called fast exponentiation. Um, I have a video explaining exactly um, exponentiation or sometimes it's called also exponentiation by um, squaring. I have video explaining exactly in details how to implement this and the different ways to implement it, recursive, recursive, and iterative. And so I'm not going to go full details into that, but I'm going to implement it here. But please take a look at that video in the description first and then come back to this. And so the main idea of that is just that um, basically instead of doing, let's say, x to the power of 6 um, and just multiplying x 6 times, what we do is we multiply x by um, 2 and then that to the power of, so basically the formula is x to the power of n um, if n is, um, it's x to the power of 2 to the power of n divided by 2 if n is um, if n is even why why are we distinguishing between even and odd it's because if n is even if n is odd then it's for example 3 3 divided by 2 that's 1.5 it doesn't make sense to make that the exponent right and um, so the way to do that is in if n is um, is even just multiply by x first and you end up with after that x to the power of n minus 1 and now n minus 1 is even because if n is odd n minus 1 is even and now you could just apply the formula for n is even with n uh, minus 1 and so that would be x to the power of 2 the whole thing to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 um, this is if n is odd and so that's the main idea and so that's what we are going to implement here and so the main thing is um, first the base case, which is if n equal to zero, we just return one. And if n, um, one thing also is if n is less than zero, then we could just um, recurse again, right? And just call so n equal to minus two. So for example, let's say x to the power of n minus two. That's just equivalent to 1 divided by x to the power of 2. And so that's what we are going to use here. And so we are going to return plug in 1 divided by x and minus n. And for n equal to... So the other base case... Um, so actually we don't need another base case. We just need to say if n equal to... If n is even, uh, which means this is equal to 0, we can just return... Um, of x multiplied by x which is x squared so just applying this formula here um, and the whole thing to the power of n divided by 2. Now if n is odd then we apply the odd formula which means multiply first by x and then apply for n minus 1 which is now even 
and so that would mean this and minus one and um, and that's pretty much it um, and so we can just return that okay so that passes um, so I explained also in the other video how to make this function recursive. it's not recursive in this case um, so please take a look at that um, and then the iterative solution that I also implemented on the um, on the other video uh, was to just do something like this so I'm just going to uh, paste it here and so same thing as the recursive function so this is the recursive function let's just put it in comments and so so same treatment here for n less than zero that we are doing here and then um, so this is power so let's just call it y to not inter interfere with python um, and so here is just replacing x with x multiplied by 2 so this is the same as doing this right um, and so we could just multiply like this and same thing with y this is the same as doing y multiplied by x um, and just the shorter way to do it is this so if n is odd we need to do this extra step right to replace this one um, if n is even we don't need to do it we can just change x and n and that's pretty much it for the iterative version. And we stop when n is bigger than 1, which is the same thing as saying while n, because when it reaches 0, then n um, becomes equal to false, and so we'll exit the loop. Okay, so that solution passes. Um, so one quick optimization that we can do is that um, I, I have another video so that I put in the description explaining how to check if a number is even or odd using bit manipulation. And so that is basically just changing this to be end one. Um, and this will check if the number is odd. So if it's odd, this will return true. Um, I will put the video in the des description that explains why um, you could just replace that check of um, if n is odd with this um, and for division by 2 that same thing we can be accomplished also with bit manipulation by just shifting here with 1 um, and that's pretty much it to make this solution even more um, even faster um, and we can just submit this Um, yeah, and so this solution passes here too, and yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.